All right, students, this is Lesson 19, ses Session 1. We are on page 401, and this lesson is um, exploring fraction, addition, and subtraction. Let's get started. Um, right here on number one, it says, show how to find 2 plus 3 using a number line. This is literally talking about simple 2 plus 3 that you probably learned in kindergarten. So if we were going to model that on a number line, we would show that we have 2, and then we would show that we have 1, 2, 3 more. So um, obviously 2 plus 3 equals 5, and we stopped on 5 right here. It is literally that simple. So then our next problem here shows, think about how you could show 2 fourths plus 3 fourths on the number line. So obviously we're going to start at 0. Here is our 2 fourths. And then we're going to add 3 fourths to it. So 1 fourth, 2 fourth, 3 fourths. So in this case, we finish with 5 fourths, but as you can see, the top number is 5, just like we got up here. The difference is, is that we have fourths on the bottom because um, we did it in fourths. So whereas this is a, one, a whole number here, our whole number is actually right here on this one. So 5 fourths is more than one whole, but when we're adding fractions, we still get a 5 on the top, just like we got a 5 up here. Let's go ahead and turn to page 402. Okay, now on 402, it's wanting us to draw 5 minus 2. So we're going to start with our 5 on our number line. And then we're going to subtract 2, but we're going to start at the 5 and we're going to go back 2. So when we subtract 2 from 5, we finish on 3. Now down here, it's wanting us to subtract 5 fourths minus 2 fourths. So we're going to draw our 5 fourths. And again, just like we did up here, we're going to start at the 5 fourths place, and we're going to go back 2 fourths to subtract, which leaves us at 3 fourths. So now this question down here is compare a number line model for adding whole numbers and a number line model for adding fractions. How are they the same and how are they different? Go ahead and take a minute. You can pause this video and answer that question for yourself because I want you to think about that on your own. And after you answer it, you can press play again. Okay, so hopefully you have something right here along the lines that um, they're the same because they are both number lines. And um, you show two things you are adding. And the sum is similar. They are different because one is whole numbers and 
the other is fractions. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and go to page 403. On 403, a unit fraction is something that I discussed in um, our last set of lessons. Um, and a unit fraction is just one piece of a whole. So um, a unit fraction, it um, always has a numerator of one, and it is one piece of a whole number. Okay, so an illustration for it. If you'd like to draw your own, you can, or you can draw one similar to mine. I'm going to make two illustrations here, actually. So I'm going to make um, a circle graph, and I'm going to shade one piece. And then I'm going to make a bar graph. And I'm going to shade one piece of the bar graph. Okay. So some examples would be like one fifth, one fourth, one third, one one hundredth. Just anything that has a one at the top would be some examples. And non examples would be like. Three fourths, four fifths, um, two thirds, or if you're using a model, having more than one shaded. Our next um, problem down here says to show three eighths using unit fractions. Well, if we break this up, another word for that is decompose, which is going to be an important word. So if we decompose 3 eighths into unit fractions, we would have 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. Because if you add those three 1 eighths together, you would get 3 eighths. So this is decomposing... A fraction. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 404. Okay, on 404 it says show 3 plus 4 and 3 6 plus 4 6 on the number lines below. So first we'll do 3 And then we'll add four more. One, two, three, four. And we see that we get seven. And then down here we're going to do three sixths. And then we're going to add four sixths. So we stopped at 7 6. As you can see, the top number is the same as the number that we got up here. And then our bottom number, the 6, stays the same throughout this entire problem. Now it says, look at problem 3. How are adding whole numbers and adding fractions alike, and how are they different? Well, this is the same as this answer right here. Um, the numerator... is the same number as you would add whole numbers. But it is a fraction, and that's how it's different. Down here, so 7 fifths minus 5 fifths on the number line. So we're going to start with our 7 fifths. And then when we're subtracting, we start and we um, just go on top of it. And we're going to subtract 5 fifths. 5 fifths is the same thing as one whole because it's the same number on top and bottom, which gives us an answer of 2 fifths. 
That is it for lesson one, and I will see you back on page 405 for lesson two.